Cross-Site Scripting, or XSS, is a software vulnerability found in web applications. It's notorious for allowing attackers to inject malicious JavaScript code that can compromise websites. Sites vulnerable to XSS have existed since the early days of the internet, beginning with the introduction of dynamic content designed to make pages more interactive and hackable. The term cross-site scripting was first coined by Microsoft security engineers in the year 2000. You can check to see if your site is vulnerable to XSS with this proof of concept payload. Insert the following code into any input field in your website, such as the search bar or comment box, and submit it. If an alert box with the number 123 pops up, your site is vulnerable to XSS attacks. Show this to developers when you find an XSS vulnerability in their code and they don't believe you. There are three main types of XSS, stored, reflected, and DOM-based. Stored XSS uses malicious scripts that have been previously injected into a site and are stored permanently in places like database tables, comment fields, or forum posts. These scripts lie in wait for unsuspecting victims executing when the infected content is viewed. Reflected XSS happens when a web app takes input from a user and reflects it back without proper sanitization. The malicious code is usually hidden in a link that the victim clicks on, often delivered via email. DOM-based XSS happens when a vulnerability exists in the front-end code rather than the server side. The attack takes advantage of the web application's client-side code that unsafely modifies the DOM using data from an untrusted source, leading to malicious code executing in the user's browser. There are two main ways to prevent cross-site scripting, encoding and validation. Encoding data on output should be performed on untrusted data before it's written to a page. The location on the page where the data is used determines the kind of encoding that should be performed. Validation is crucial for any data coming from users. Every piece of data should be thoroughly checked to ensure it meets the required standards. If data validation fails, it should be blocked entirely rather than attempting to clean or sanitize it. This has been 120 seconds of XSS. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and remember to always begin secure.